Am I similar to Annie? Well, yes, I think I, I, think I am, yes. I relate to her, um, her kind of vulnerability, I suppose in the beginning, I just, her, her looking and searching for sense of self and finding purpose in other people and being of use to other people and that kind of defining her and she can only be seen when the, you know, the, uh, George and Mitchell are around because she all of a sudden has a purpose and she's completely validated by things outside herself, which leaves her very vulnerable, but I can relate to that. Um, and then Stronger Annie, yeah, I relate to showing up for your friends and uh, I relate to Annie a lot, actually, now that I've got going on it. After day of emotional scenes, I think the best thing to do is probably stick on some Beyonce tunes and dance with Aidan and Russell because you will never laugh so much and relax so much. Those two are just brilliant, on and off screen, just brilliant. Um, so I think after all the emotional and the crying stuff, if you need cheering up, I just go and find those guys and we get up to mischief on set and play a prank on someone. <laughs> I'm actually quite sceptical, I think. I think I am, but at the same time, um, I'm open. But I definitely believe that there, are, that we are more than just the physical. There's a soul element, a spiritual element to everybody. Um, so in that sense, I anything's possible. I don't know. I can't say it's not true because I really don't know. Sweet, cute Annie, who makes tea. She kind of makes me laugh. I find that most of her comic moments come out of that because um, well, it's just it's quite it's quite funny to me. I don't know why. <laughs> it doesn't sound very funny now I say it. But I think she's quite yeah. It's quite comical the way she tries to um, just busy herself with OCD tea making um, and doesn't batter an eyelid. Doesn't even seem weird to her. Um, but dark. Annie is, is great to play and a real challenge. I think I find her quite challenging because um, I'm, I'm not very dark, I guess. Um, and, and so it's just, yeah, she, it, I get to explore that for myself and for Annie because I think Annie's kind of trying to learn it and play it when she rehearses Haunting Owen and stuff. It's all like, how do I become this woman, this empowered... Mm, and she kind of knows what she wants. She just doesn't quite know how to go about it. So that's, that's good fun because... I think for me, as an actress as well, it's a bit like, how do I, how do I exude power and dark side? So hopefully I'm pulling it off, but... So I think dark side, Annie. So next series, I would like to see Annie grow um, in confidence and in her, in herself, but also really start to embrace her supernatural self. I think Annie the poltergeist needs to to be unleashed what kind of thing would I have chosen to die in um <laughs> first of all I don't want to die so that's quite quite um weird concept I'd like to be in that mindset where the skin I was in was great felt like I was in a good place and then I could be in a potato sack not that I'd wish that on anyone potato sack or a very nice Chanel number, either way. <laughs> Best thing about playing a ghost would be the potential. I mean, it just leaves you wide open. I can move without getting in a car or actually, you know, physically doing it. I can sometimes be seen and not be seen. I am, and he has got a whole new tool set of, of powers at her disposal. So I suppose it's just exciting playing character where you're just really like, what's going to happen? Um, there's no rules um, and, and just the excitement, the uncertainty of playing a ghost and the, and the, the, the freedom um, is, is, is good fun. <laughs>